children good morning and the next lesson now we are dealing with a seed dispersal so what is seed dispersal why are seed dispersed from one place to another place what is the necessary you might have seen the different seeds that is the plants that are growing of the same type at different places what is the reason for this this is the different questions that arise for you when you see the same type of plants at different places how they are grown by without um, seedling them by yourself what is the reason how have they come up so these are the different doubts that may arise in your tiny minds isn't it so now we'll see what is the reason for the seed dispersal how they are dispersed from one place to other place so first of all you, you should know what is seed dispersal what is seed dispersal it is the transfer of seeds from one place to other place movement or transfer of seeds from one place to other place how they are transferred they are transferred through the agents of dispersal so by agents of dispersal what are the agents of dispersal in previous class that is in the lesson of reproduction in plants you have already learned about the agents of pollination isn't it children so what are the agents of pollination they are wind water insects birds animals and human beings so they are the agents of pollination however you know that a new plant grows by the methods of pollination and fertilization in which the seed formation takes place isn't it so in the similar pattern the seeds also are dispersed from one place to other place by the agents of dispersal what are the agents of seed dispersal now i tell you the same they are wind water insects birds animals human beings and also the dispersal that is the di dispersal mechanism which includes the bursting mechanism okay so this is about the agents of seed dispersal where you are going to learn in this lesson how they are the seeds are being dispersed through these agents what are the agents children they are wind water insects birds animals human beings and the last one is about the bursting mechanism some of the seeds they burst out from one place to other place how it takes place we'll see through explanation one by one each okay children so hope you have understood what is seed dispersal and what are the agents of seed dispersal so in nature in nature the same kind of plants grow at different places because their seeds are dispersed to the different places by the various natural agents of seed dispersal such as wind water animals and so on is it clear children so this is what we are going to learn in this lesson the scattering of seeds the scattering of seeds over a large area away from the mother plant by the agents of seed dispersal is called the dispersal of seeds okay so what is the dispersal of seeds it is the scattering of the seeds it is the scattering of the seeds over a large area away from the mother plant or the parent plant so away by the agents of seed dispersal it is called as dispersal of seeds hope you have understood once again see the board what is seed dispersal or dispersal of seeds it is the scattering of seeds
scattering of seeds away from the parent plant or mother plant scattering of the seeds away from the mother plant over a large area <coughs> over a large area by the agents of seed dispersal by the agents of dispersal is called dispersal of seeds note down this point very very important dispersal of seeds once again i repeat the scattering of seeds over a large area away from the mother plant by the agents of dispersal is called the dispersal of seeds okay children so the dispersal of seeds is beneficial because it provides the advantage to the plants how what are the different advantages that the plant provides that are uh, through the dispersion of seeds we'll see now okay so what is the advantage of seed dispersal for the plant mainly if the seed dispersal doesn't take place what happens there will be competition for water air mineral and salts for the plant by both the mother plant and also the seeds that is growing up so this competition allows either the mother plant or the seed to survive so it helps for both to survive if the dispersal of seed is possible so the dispersal of seeds is very much essential for the plants because it provides the advantages as prevents the overcrowding of the plants it prevents the overcrowding of the plants not down advantages of seed dispersal it is the advantages of seed dispersal what are the advantages first it prevents the overcrowding overcrowding of seeds overcrowding of seeds uh, that is of the plants in an area that is the seeds of uh, that grows into the plants we can say that it's an overcrowding of the plants that grow at a particular place in an area okay so this is the first advantage preventing of overcrowding of plants next the second one is it prevents the competition for water that what i said air water and mineral salts prevents competition now that competition for what for air water sunlight which are the main essential requirements for the plant to grow as you have already learnt in the nutrition in plants lesson isn't it so it is the it prevents the competition for air water sunlight and mineral salts from the soil okay so this is the second advantage and dispersal of seeds also prevents the plants grow in new places that is a it uh, sorry it helps the plants to grow in new places where it gets all these requirements okay so dispersal prevents first overcrowding of the plants in an area it prevents the competition for water and sunlight and mineral salts among the same kind of plants especially it's among the same kind of plants kind of plants and the third one is it helps the plants to grow in a new area where it gets all the requirements is it clear so it it helps the third point is it helps dispersal of seeds helps to that is the it uh, gives the plants that helps the plants to grow 
in a new area helps the plants to grow in a new area providing all the requirements is it clear so this is about the advantages of seed dispersal hope you have understood the definition of seed dispersal children so what is seed dispersal seed dispersal is the scattering of the seeds from one place to other place over a large area from from where it is being dispersed it is dispersed from the parent plant or the mother plant and it is dispersed away from the parent plant and through how it is being dispersed it is dispersed through the agents of dispersal what are the agents of dispersal as you know well that they are air water insects birds animals human beings and also through the bursting mechanism the seeds are being dispersed from one place to other place okay children now we will see this explain about the agents of seed dispersal one by one okay now done this first now the dispersal of seeds and fruits by wind how the seeds are dispersed by the wind will see so the seeds are generally dispersed by wind because of the light weight or the hairy structures around them or the wing like structures around them so what are the different seeds that have the different structures we'll see now see the word now here children so these drumstick and maple these are the seeds which have wing like structures around them which helps to move through the wind is it clear so the seeds of this earth like which develop the certain adaptive structures they are adaptive structures which are the features we can say which help them to disperse by the wind okay so the drumstick and maple these have the wings attached to them so that they are dispersed by the wind they are dispersed by wind okay next caltropis dandelion mather that is the seeds of oak cotton and the sunflower fruit so the seeds of caltropis dandelion mather and um, cotton they contain the hair like structures around them which which are very lightweight and helps the seeds to fly high up in the air is it clear so that so that they can be moved from one place to another place and dispersed under the favorable conditions they germinate into the new plant so this is how these plants are dispersed through the winds with through the adaptive structures with have which are developed by them and the fruit of the sunflower also have the hairy structures okay and some of the seeds of grass grass begonia you know it the, the propagation vegetative propagation through the leaves isn't it so the seeds of grass grass seeds begonia and also the orchids that is the flowering some of the flowering plants also the seeds are very light in weight they are light in weight seeds of these plants are very light in weight so they are dispersed easily through the wind okay so i'll show you the pictures children so you can easily identify them hope see here this is the picture of milkweeds and dandelion okay see this picture children see dandelion and milkweed the top one is dandelion observe the picture carefully and the other one is milkweed so they have the hair like structures which help them to fly high up in the air and settle at a place and germinate under the favorable conditions of air water sunlight everything that it requires to germinate okay and the next picture is see here the how their seeds are dispersed through the wind okay and these are 
the seeds of grass these are the seeds of grass okay children and the next one is the uh, flower of milkweed ma you can see the flower of milkweed children and the next one i'll show you the maple just a minute so this is these are the maple seeds you can see them the wing like structures over them okay yes wing like structures for the maple and the other one i'll show you children these are cotton seeds cotton seeds children you can identify them easily they are also having the hair like structures which move through the air from one place to other place next so these are cotton this is a cotton flower you know it well see this one maple flower we have already seen the maple seeds isn't it children so this is the flower of maple which have this is the seeds and these are this is a seed and this is the flower okay children yes next the dispersal of seeds and fruits through water how the seeds disperse through the water which type of seeds are mainly dispersed through the water we are going to see now so certain seeds have the ability to float in water they develop the floating capacity through the fibrous coat around them or a spongy tissue around them so the example of this dispersal of seeds through the water are coconut fruits and lily and lotus seeds if you see they have the coconut fruit has the fibrous outer coat which is thick which enables them to float in water and is carried away to far off places in the flow by flowing in the water is it clear so there it settles at a particular place and develops into a new plant under the favorable conditions so the same thing about the lily and lotus seeds also they also have the spongy structures around them so the seeds of water plants like a lily and lotus they have a spongy outer coat which allows them to float in water to and that and move to the long lo other places along with the water current see the seeds of lotus children these are the seeds of lotus if you observe them clearly you can see that they have the ability to float in the water which are spongy of structure and you can see this seed of coconut see the seeds of coconut okay children so this is how it germinates okay it settles at as a seashores if you see the most of the coconut plants are seen along the seashores and at the river beds isn't it why is it so because the coconut has uh, the fruit contains a fibrous coat along around it which uh, helps them to float on the surface of the water and they come to this shores and settle at some place where under the favorable conditions it develops into the new plant hope you have understood this children 